hello kids so in this video let's discuss the numericals on the concept of heat okay so heat given or heat lost that is represented by q it is heat given okay or heat absorbed okay heat lost or heat absorbed that is q and it's equals to mass of that object into specific heat capacity of that object into change in temperature what is delta t delta t is final temperature minus initial temperature or change in temperature what is specific heat capacity what is specific heat capacity every substance has a tendency to get heated up or cool down so how fast it heats up or cools down depends upon its specific heat capacity okay you have learned this earlier too okay specific heat capacity of water is 1 so what it means it means that that water takes time to get heat up and takes time to cool down and that's why water is the best coolant you have learned it in standard 7th okay so specific heat capacity okay and for water it's always 1 okay then m is mass right okay simple so let's let's uh solve some of the questions based on this okay so let's take one question what is given how much heat will be needed okay means it is asking he is asking q how much heat will be needed to raise the temperature of 1.5 kg of water so mass is given 1.5 kg mass is always in grams from 15 degree celsius to 45 degree celsius means this is temperature initial and this is temperature final what will be delta t delta t is temperature final minus temperature initial 45 minus 15 how much 30 okay put this in the formula q equals to m into c into delta t m is 1.5 c for water is 1 and delta t is 30 right correct correct or not okay so how much is it 15 30 okay right okay now understand that in such type of question m into c into delta t when you are asked to calculate the things in calorie okay calculate the things in calorie okay then we have to take this mass in grams okay what is the value we are getting here okay it's 15 30 45 and 0 and i forgot the decimal what we are getting this value is in kilo calorie okay if they tell you that they want the answer in calories so what we do is simple okay we'll convert this mass into grams 1.5 into 1000 grams how much 1500 gram okay then q equals to 1500 1 into 30 
and this answer you get in calories okay correct okay see this that kilo calories to calories we can multiply by thousand this is also a method okay so remember this whenever the question is that you have to get the answer in calories first convert the mass into grams if you don't convert the mass into grams the answer you will get is in kilo calories okay one more thing if suppose they ask you that they want the answer in joules so what do we do we first get the answer in calories and then we can convert it in joules you know what one calorie equal to 4.18 joules an important thing to remember okay one calorie is 4.18 joules so if q equals to 45000 calorie right so what will be the answer in joule 45000 into 4.18 multiply and get the answer in joule okay so oh, somewhat 188100 isn't it easy yeah okay so let us do one more last if the temperature of water changes what is given if the temperature of water changes by 10 degrees celsius temperature changes by 1 degree celsius it means that delta t is given okay on giving 300 calorie so q is equal to 300 calorie okay what they are asking is mass of water put the formula q equals to m into c into delta t okay so m we don't know calorie is given okay not kilo calorie calorie is given it means that we will get the mass okay in grams so 300 C is one, delta T is ten. Ten goes this side. Three hundred upon ten, thirty grams. Easy. So you can do these problems in such a way. Q equals to m into C into delta T. Delta T is change in temperature. C is specific heat capacity, and for water it is always one. Right. Okay do your best see you in next video